All right, guys. Well, we are getting ready to put that beast on the boring mill. What that is going to entail, I have to profile the entire perimeter of this thing. So we're going to be doing some MacGyvering. Going to put that rotary table on, build a way to fixture it on here. I still haven't even figured it out altogether, but <clears throat> we're going to make a peg that centers this thing and then probably pull out four of those bolts. They go all the way through and bolt straight through into the T-slots at every 90 degree position. Anyways, it's going to be some horse around. We've been uh, getting ready for this this afternoon, but just getting ready to pull off the angle plate from the last batch of projects, and then it's time to get on with it. for some aluminum extrusion. What I've got going on is this is really designed for rapid traverse on this power feed. So I've got it hooked up to a variable frequency drive. I got it dialed down to about 15 hertz. That's as slow as I could get it to run reliably. I got a pipe wrench on the switch here because it's normally just rapid. I'm just letting her sit there and spin. And we are stepping out and up each pass around. We're creating a uh, unique compound curve profile on this thing so we've got 80 passes to do to get this whole thing done so far it's going pretty good other than we're making a huge stinking mess table and then took out two 
of the clamping bolts and went all the way through to peanuts. I would have liked to have had more than that, but only two of them would line up the slot. So. And then uh, one, two, three blocks under there to space it up and keep it from standing on the bolt heads under there. Pretty sure this is not what the engineers of Pratt & Whitney had in mind when they built that beautiful rotary table. to having half of the profile done. Looking pretty nice and getting a uh, pretty decent finish in here. Anyway, then we'll go back, pick up from the center here and cut the other way. But got a few more passes here, but I think, what, three, four more passes and we'll have this. pass on this half so we've got exactly half of the profile generated as of this cut <clears throat> not looking too shabby then it's time to go to the other side and start cutting our way down the other direction on this side for some reason there's a little bit more drag on the rotary table if you spin it the other direction it's something about there's some backlash in some of this mechanism anyways and it's enough more drag that the BFD will not push mill it it stalls it out and by the time I crank the power up enough or the speed enough that it'll overcome it it's too fast so I am having to climb mill this thing little or no backlash in this thing but still sketchy because it grabs chunks anyway not what I want to be doing but that's what we're doing I'll show you guys here's the process There she is, getting ready to go deliver this thing to the customer. We gotta knock some of the rest of the sawdust off. And go let them have their part back. But get a load of this. We have got a serious mess to clean up. I'm thinking what we're probably gonna do, if there's any oil left on the machine at all, it sticks to it. So my plan is to go just like that and use the sawdust itself and just start scrubbing the whole machine down soaking the oil up until I get the whole machine dried off to where you can vacuum up the residue that's left and then start with re-oiling the entire machine from scratch so <clears throat> anyway thankfully the wood itself won't hurt the machine it just makes a mess and turns into glue so it's got to get taken off in there just for future fun and ent entertainment but at any rate there she be we're going to get her hauled off dropped off and we'll see you guys on the next video